I've been self-employed full-time for over four years now, so it's really interesting to look at how much of that time is actually spent making art, what art I am making, um, what it's for, and also what I'm up to outside of that. So I spent the month of March keeping a note of all the art I made throughout the month, and I thought I would share it with you. Every month is different, but I do think that this was quite a typical one for me, and I will also talk about where things might vary from month to month as we go along. I was actually kind of nervous about making this video once I'd actually totted up the total amount of art that I'd made because it doesn't seem like a lot and all those sort of imposter feelings, you know, them, they start creeping in, just feeling like an artist that barely makes art. But I'm here to be honest and I'm sure that different people will have different experiences. I would actually love to hear how much art you will manage to make in a month. I know that from looking at this, I would like to tip the scales a bit when it comes to how I balance work work and creative work. Okay, starting with my sketchbook. I try to work in my sketchbook every day. I get up early just to squeeze that time in before work. I'm actually up at 6 a.m. every morning now. But what I realized while actually tracking the amount that I do in my sketchbook is that it can take me several days to just finish one spread. And that little bit of sketchbook time that I save myself in the morning is always the first thing to get knocked off the schedule if I'm particularly busy with work, which I feel like I was in March. So in total, I think there are only six sketchbook spreads and the majority of those pages are ones where I mainly stuck things in when I do want to commit to that creative personal time but I don't have the energy or ideas to do actual paintings or drawings. I at least like to come up with a nice spread with art that I already have lying around and just being able to give those loose drawings a whole. So I had these test prints from when I was getting this artwork ready to upload onto imprint. I stuck these on on the same page where I already had this painting of a pomegranate flower which I edited on to the final pomegranate painting piece so I thought it would all go nicely together. Um, I also had this old page from um, like an old botanical journal and I thought it'd be nice to print my pomegranate painting onto it um, and then just to add some kind of creative element to the spread. Um, that's also why I added like this tape around here and these paint swatches um, and then for that I just used a water brush and a watercolour palette so there was no prep or cleanup required for that at all. I also stuck in this um, this painting that I turned into a greetings card for Patreon. So this is the original painting, but again, it was just on a loose bit of paper. So I stuck it in here. And then just to make the page more interesting, added some scraps of things that I had lying around and stamped some words onto the page as well. Um, every month, I also keep a set of the Patreon rewards that I've just sent out. So I created this record of the Lucky You bundle that I sent out in early March. So these aren't the originals, these are just a copy of the prints and stickers that I sent out. For actual drawings and paintings in my sketchbook, there is this random doodle of an alligator that I will stick in at some point. This took longer than it looks like it would have. It was a really nice good morning sketching session, but as I mentioned, I end up having all that time to myself and ending up with just something like this to show for it. When I have a lot of work to do, it doesn't always feel justified to spend an hour in the morning doing something so irrelevant. Um, but you know, I was happy to have spent that time making art. Um, there's this sketchbook spread that you'll have seen in one of my sketchbook with me videos. At least when I'm filming, I feel a bit more justified in experimenting with things, but I do think I need to get out of that mindset. Um, like this sketchbook page would have been worth my time whether I was filming it or not. I need to remember that. And my favourite time spent in my sketchbook, nothing to do with this here. It was a evening that I spent on Zoom with a friend drinking wine and painting together. I didn't have a reference or anything for this one, I just felt like painting water lilies and I went off the image that I had in my mind and the casual setting that we were in just made it really easy to go with the flow, paint and have a laugh and before I knew it I had this painting that I was really happy with and my friend made progress on a poster that she was making for her bedroom. This over here is just um, a sketch that I've made for a future Patreon bundle um, that won't be coming out till October. As you can see, it's kind of Halloween themed. So that's just the original sketch that I've already stuck in there. And then of course, still on topic with that, every month I create and ship out bundles of prints and stickers to people on Patreon. Um, it's been a great way to keep me creating, coming up with ideas. And I genuinely think that my art has improved so much as I try to keep 
innovating and sending people something different every time um, there's a real difference I think in the bundles that I was sending out at the beginning and what I'm doing now so the theme last month March was pets in honor of Thierry's two-year adoption anniversary and five fifth birthday um, so you already saw the parrot painting and I turned that into this greetings card I did the actual painting a month earlier because I needed to order the greetings cards in time to know that they would be here to ship out in early April so during the month of March I painted this rabbit I was going to turn this into a print so that um, it would go out to all the patrons to get physical rewards but when it came time to actually making the prints I wasn't in love with this so I decided to instead make a print of that deer painting from my sketchbook um, not quite a pet but still you know on the animal theme I also painted this sticker sheet and this is how it ended up um, and I made an extra sticker for the people that got the greetings card also, this was the last month that I was offering original paintings as one of the perks and I wanted to do something really special since this would be the last original painting that I would be sending out. So I painted custom pet portraits for each of the three patrons in that tier. I won't show them properly here since I don't know if they've arrived at their destinations yet and I want those patrons to be the first to see those paintings finished. But I will say that I absolutely love how all of those came out. They're actually probably my favourite paintings that I've sent out in all of my time on Patreon. I can't lie, it was a labour of love. I had to start again at least three times for each of them. One of them I actually started again I think five times before I was happy with it. I just think when it's a custom portrait for someone there is just an added pressure to get their fur baby just right. But then I wouldn't normally have so much of a reason to keep pushing through a really difficult piece. And like I said, in the end, it was so worth it. I was so, so happy with what I ended up with. Also for the same patrons at the beginning of March, I completed these original paintings for the Lucky You bundle. Okay, and then outside of work that I do in my sketchbook and on Patreon, I tend to have at least one project going on in the background each month. It might be like a personal project, like um, creating work for my portfolio, uh, something to restock my shop with. Um, for example, this month, April, so not part of this video, but I just finished painting um, something for my mum's birthday. Uh, very occasionally I'll be working on something for a client and sometimes it's work that I'm making a video about. So for March, um, it was a mixture of a personal, personal project that also doubled up as a video for this channel. I was working on making art for our flat, um, as you can see back here, and you can also see the video for that linked in the description and I'll link it up above as well. So I finished that at the start of this month, but some of the art was made in March and that took most of my free creative time. I made the beetroot painting, which you can also see a real-time video for, again, um, that'll be linked below. There's this painting of our building, this garlic drawing, and I started planning this botanical painting. I also started planning for a packaging design commission that I will be getting into for a client in the next couple of months, um, but obviously I can't show you any of that. But that just entailed some brainstorming and preliminary sketches, which is honestly one of the hardest and most time consuming aspects of creative work for me, just that like idea generating stage. Uh, okay, and speaking of time, I also kept track of the number of hours that I was working on art during the first week of um, planning for this video. So out of those first seven days out of this month, I spent four days in total working on art, um, two hours for each of the first three days and then five hours on the last day. Um, and the amount of time that I spend on art each week really varies. Sometimes it's like that. Um, sometimes it's all day, every day, if there's like one big project that I'm working on. And some weeks I probably spend an hour on art in total. So you might be wondering what else am I doing with my time if it's not making art? Planning content and filming and editing videos that takes up a lot of time and just the general work of updating and maintaining a presence online. I have a lot of emails and comments to respond to and then when my shop is stocked that's at least a full day, usually two or three every week fulfilling orders. Honestly I don't know where all the time goes. This was a really interesting investigation for me into how I'm spending my time and you know what now that I have talked it out now that I have it all laid out in front of me I do think that I made a bit more art than I initially felt like I had. Again I would love to know what your art life balance looks like whatever position you're in whether it's just a hobby or whether you're part-time with it whether you're full-time otherwise um thank you so much for joining me for this one I hope you found it interesting and I will see you soon for the next video. Bye!